the Motion Milan 2015. It's a great honor for us to have here Rasmus Lardorf, the creator and the founder of PHP Project, uh, a language, of course, keynoting at Codemotion. Welcome. Thank you very much. It's your first time here and it was really amazing for us. During your keynote, you talk about 20 years of PHP. How much PHP has gone over, over from your original vision? Well, completely. I built the tool just for me initially, just for me to solve web problems. I had no intention for other people to use it, but people were asking me how I was building sites as quickly as I was. And I said, I'm using this tool. And they said, well, can we have it? Why not? The, the cool thing about open source software is that you can, you can give your software away and still have it. It's not like your bicycle. If you give someone your bicycle, you don't have your bicycle anymore. For source code and for code, you can just make a copy, as many copies as you want. So that's, that's how I was introduced to open source. And that's, that's the beginning of, of PHP getting as big as it is today. And today is the language probably is the language of, uh, of the web. Probably, yeah. yeah. By, by use it is, yes. PHP as a language um, gave birth to a large group of um, frameworks. What is your opinion about this? Um, on frameworks? I mean, everyone needs a framework. Everyone needs structure in how they solve problems. I have been somewhat critical of frameworks over the years because I don't like how complicated and how slow they were. But with Composer and in the last couple of years, it's been easier for people to pick and choose just pieces of frameworks. Instead of taking everything, with Composer and the dependency management it does, you can pick and choose just the pieces of frameworks that you want. So I think the framework environment or ecosystem for PHP is extremely healthy now. Much better today than, say, just three, four years ago. PHP 7 is on its way to be released. Which direction is going to take? Well, I mean, PHP 7, it's set. It's direction. We have all the new features. We have a massive performance improvements. Um, and that, that's really the focus of PHP 7 is, is performance, making what we have faster, um, adding some types here and there, because people have been writing more and more complex pieces of code. 15 years ago, most web apps were very simple. Today, you have very complex things written in PHP, so it made sense to add some types to help programmers, and also making sure that it was fast. Um, th those are the two main things. F further on, beyond that, we'll have to see. We'll probably iterate on performance. It'll get even faster in, in future versions, 7.1, 7.2. Um, and there are a few tweaks we'll do to the typing and probably the object orientation as well over the next couple of years. Um, will be solid and standardized multi-trading API come to PHP? Um, probably not. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have a multi-threaded um, front-end language for the web because the main thing with multi-threading is you really want to use up all the cores on the machine. So a standalone daemon, a standalone CLI applications, it makes sense to have multi-threading. For the web, you already have all your cores busy handling concurrent requests. So multi-threading doesn't buy you performance. It might let you do multiple things at the same time, but you don't necessarily want to do that at that layer. You'd want to use a job worker or something like Gearman or other job queues and farm off those to other things. We have a pthreads extension that works okay for CLI as it is. So we have multi-threading at the command line level, but I don't see multi-threading coming to the web SAPIs or the web APIs because it doesn't, it architecturally it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You would want to use event-driven instead. So you can send off multiple HTTP requests or multiple database queries, and we can do that today. We could do that in PHP 5. You can use multi-curl, and you can use select on file handles and things. You can do multiple uh, concurrent MySQL queries, Postgres queries. So all the pieces where you want to do things concurrently, you already have that capability today. So there are not very many reasons to have multi-threading at that layer. Talking about open source means talking about community. Yes. Uh, do you believe that HHVM and PHP will continue to coexist or come to a clash? 
No, I, I think they complement each other. Um, HHVM is more targeted at certain types of use, um, very high-end applications mostly. It's unique kind of both ends. PHP is very, very broad. We target everything, every platform out there and every type of user. By focusing on certain types of users, HHM is, is bringing PHP to places where it may not have been possible to use PHP before. So I think they co coexist in that sense, in that they're targeting slightly different types of users, I think. What we can expect from the next de development of PHP in the future? Yeah, and I mean, in the I covered the recent, or the sort of the, the immediate future is looking a little bit at our object orientation, um, looking a little bit at our type system. Further off, I think a JIT is the next exciting thing in PHP, but it's going to take some research. Dimitri uh, in Russia wrote a JIT which turned out to do really, really well on synthetic benchmarks, but didn't help much on real-world applications. So we have to look at his work, and we have to figure out how do we write a JIT that actually makes sense in the real world. Um, and I think that'll be the next big challenge for PHP development. Thank you very much. Rasmus, will you cheer uh, the Codemotion people who want you here today? Um, sorry? Sorry? We would you cheer? Would you say something? Oh, would you say so hello? Or <laughs> um, for all the folks who weren't here, I mean, this, is, this seems like a great conference. Lots of excitement, lots of emotion and passion around development, which is what I like to see. So come join us next year, I guess. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.